This is the property of my maternal grandparents. On September 3rd, 1971, the most important decision I made happened right here on these grounds. Let me tell you how the story began. I'm standing on the grounds today of where the most important decision I ever made happened. These grounds are actually where my maternal grandparents lived. And I have many, many fond memories of coming to visit with them, even to stay with them. But today, what I want to talk about is the tent revival and the subsequent life that I've lived from that tent revival happened right here on these grounds, right in this spot where I'm standing right now. Now, to, to give you the full story of this, my sister Gwen and her husband, Reverend Dr. Julius Petaway, they would always come on Sunday afternoons to talk with my brothers and sisters and myself about getting saved. And what they were speaking about was coming to Christ. Well, I would always give an excuse and say, no, I'm not ready for that just yet. Uh, but at some point in my life, that will happen. But they remained faithful and consistent every Sunday. I mean, they came every Sunday to talk. And so finally, uh, about August or so, my sister Gwen said, listen, we have obtained permission from grandma. And she said that we could use the property and we could have a tent revival. Would you come just one night? And reluctantly, I said, yes, I will come one night. And I'm thinking that that would get her off my back and she would leave me alone. Well, the Lord will let you believe whatever you need to believe to get you moving. So after her persuasiveness, because she was my oldest sister, I said, okay, reluctantly, I said, okay, I'll come to one night of the tent revival. So she said, why don't you come the first night? Now I'm tossed with the decision of whether to go the first night, which I already said was September 3rd, or go to the football game. <laughs> and and I, I, I finally said to Gwen, okay, I'll come to the tent revival if you will leave me alone. When we came to the tent revival that night, Apostle Sanders, Lewis Sanders, who was their pastor and later became my pastor and father in the Lord, he ministered the word. It was powerful. And at the end of that, he said, I was going to give an invitation tonight for whoever wanted to be saved. He said, but instead, I'll wait until tomorrow night to give the first invitation. But if anyone feels that they want to come to Christ, I want you to come and we're going to give you that opportunity. As I sat and listened to him preach that night, the word of God pricked my heart. And I did not know that that was going to be a life changing night for me, but it was. And when he gave the invitation, I responded to it. I went up. Behind me, my brother, younger brothers and sisters and some of my cousins were right there with me. And what we had that night was a beginning of a new life. And so I said to the Lord, I said, if you can do anything with me, then here I am. And it was at that time that the Lord began to deal with me almost immediately about what he was going to do with my life. Now this hat that I'm wearing today, where you can see blessed, that speaks, that encapsulates what the Lord has done with me for the last 50 years. It was 50 years ago today that the most important decision happened. And so as, uh, as I've continued to walk with God, through these 50 years, I can tell you now it has been a wonderful, powerful, exceptional, incredible journey. 
This has been three-fourths of my life. I didn't know that decision that night would carry me into almost all of the 50 states in the United States to preach the gospel, but it did. And equally, 20 countries as well. We've been on every continent thus far except Australia. And I didn't know as well that there would be a television program that would come with that decision that would carry us into 139 countries. Now, what I'm saying to you with this testimony is look at what the Lord has done. He has done great things, and I'm glad about that. And when I come to these grounds, I'm reminded all over again that this was the day of small beginnings, but they have enlarged and become expensive because of the goodness of God. Now, I responded to the invitation that he gave because no one can come to God except by invitation. Now, maybe the Lord is speaking to you today if you have not given your life to Christ yet. That's the first and most important decision that you ever make is to receive him into your life and into your heart. And it's very simple, like it was simple for me that night because of the goodness of God's grace. Now, if you have already given your life to Christ, then I'm sure that there are other decisions that you've got to make in order to fully carry out his will in your life. And again, all it requires is simply saying yes and making a decision. And like I did that night, just ask the Lord, if there's anything that you can do with me, do it. And he will do exactly that. You know, the, the revelation says that he stands at the door and knock. And if anyone will hear his voice and open the door, he will come in. And so I promise you, after 50 years, he will do it, whatever you yield yourself to him to do. Thousands of people are waiting on your decision. Just like God said to Abraham, I'll make a great nation of you. Well, there's a great nation that's waiting on your decision. Creation will be blessed by you saying yes to the Lord. I wanna thank you for being with us on this journey. Thank you.